Hi, in this sequence of videos we're going to be looking at the AQA call for January 2013 exam paper. The video is going to be split up into three um, different parts. The first part of the video you'll be looking at trying the question yourself, so you pause the question and give it a go. The second part of the video I will go over a hint or some tips as to how you can go about answering the question and in the final part of the video I'll go over the full solution to the question. One of the things that I would encourage you to do is at any point of the video where you feel like you can answer the question for yourself then pause the video, have a go at doing it and then you can always play the video again to check your answers. Okay, um, so question number one we um, have got a polynomial question to start with. I'd like you to pause the video and um, see if you can give this question a try yourself first. Okay, well then if you manage to have a go, I'm now going to give you some hints to the question. So, um, the f for the first part we want to use the remainder theorem to find the remainder um, when this function here is divided by 2x plus 1. So, um, to um, apply the re remainder theorem, we want to um, put in, well, what would this, what would x be if this was 0? and then that value is what you want to put into this function here. Okay, part B, um, we've got a, um, a different function this time, different polynomial, and, and we're being told that um, this, this g of x is equal to f of x plus d, where d is a constant. We're told that um, 2x plus 1 is a factor of g of x, so what does that tell us about the remainder of g of x? Okay, and we want to show that g of x is equal to this. Well, if we know what the remainder here is, um, when, when we divide by 2x plus 1, and we also know the remainder um, here, we should be able to work out what d is, which will allow us to write this function in this form. Okay, part 2 says given that g of x can be written in this form here where a is an integer we want to express it as, as a product of three linear factors so we've got one of our linear factors here um, what we want to do is we want to decide what I would um, if I multiply this by this and I get this what would the value of a have to be and once I know that I will hopefully be able to factorize this here so that I can write it as three linear factors Okay, finally, part three, it tells us to um, show that this is equal to p plus q over x. Well, um, we will already have written this function, g of x, as a product of three linear factors. And I reckon we could probably factorize this as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what terms cancel each other out. And hopefully we'd be able to make it um, look like that there. Okay, so those are my hints, so if you'd like to pause the video now and see if you can um, have a go. Right, okay, so this next part is going to be the full solution um, to this. Um, so starting with part A, um, we want to use the remainder theorem to find um, the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x plus 1 well to make this 0 x would be have to be um, negative a half so I'm going to put that into here and that's going to give me and we've got 2 times negative a half cubed which is negative of 1 8 plus negative a half squared which is a quarter and I don't need the brackets there just putting it in um, and take away 8 times 5 um, and negative a half and take away 7 ok so that's going to be equal to um, and that's going to be negative a quarter plus a quarter and that's going to be plus 4 take away 7 and that gives us, those will cancel each other out, 4 take away 7 is negative 3 
um, and there you go so the um, remainder um, when this function is divided by 2s plus 1 is going to be negative 3 ok part b <coughs> and in part b um, we've got this polynomial here and we're told that um, that 2x plus 1 is an exact factor of, of this function g of x so um, what that's telling me is that g of minus a half is going to be 0 we also know f of minus a half is going to be negative 3 so that tells me 0 must be equal to negative 3 plus d which tells me that d is going to be equal to 3 OK, so that was part one of the... I'm just going to um, tidy up my work a little bit to give me some... OK, that's better. So um, moving on to B, part two. And um, for B, part two, we're given that the function here um, is equal to this, where A is an integer, and we want to write this as a product of three linear factors. Well, first of all, I need to work out what this A value is here. Um, and I can do that quite quickly because I can just compare this to this and the 2x times the x squared is obviously going to give me this 2x cubed over here but it's this number here that's going to help us because I know that 1 times a must give us this last term here which is negative 4 so that tells me that a has to be negative 4 just as a double check I can see that um, to get this negative um, 8x uh, I would have to do this times this and 2x times by negative 4 does give me that negative 8x so a I'm convinced now is going to be equal to negative 4 so I can write g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 x squared take away 4 and that's what the value of a is um, and I want to write this as three linear factors so at the moment I've got it as one linear and a quadratic so I need to factorise this and hopefully you can spot that that's a difference of two squares so that's just simply going to be 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 and subtract 2 and there you go so that's the um, part 2 so moving on to part 3 <coughs> Okay, so um, hence or otherwise we want to show that this is equal to this here. So um, first of all, the top part of this um, I know is going to be this bit here. So I can write 2x plus 1. This is g of x. x plus 2. x subtract 2. And that's going to be divided by. And I want to factorise this here. So um, I'm just going to do that on the side over here so um, I can see that 2x cubed take away 3x squared take away 2x it's going to be equal to well I can see straight away that x is a factor so I can take x outside and I've got 2x squared take away 3x take away 2 um, and now that's going to be equal to x times um, and that's going to be And um, I think we've got x subtract 2 in here, and x plus 1 here, just double check that, 2x squared, take away 4x plus x, gives us that bit there, and subtract 2, there you go. So, over here now, I can say that I've got x, 2x plus 1, and x subtract 2. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I want to simplify this so I can well so I can see that um, that and that cancel each other out and this and this cancel each other out um, so this is going to be equal to um, x plus 2 over x okay um, we're almost there we want it in this form here where p and q are integers so um, I can separate this into two fractions because that's going to be x over x plus 2 over x x over x plus 2 over x um, and that's going to give me well x over x is 1 so I've got 1 
plus and that's just going to stay as 2 over x so p is going to be 1 and q is going to be 2 there you go okay thanks very much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you again soon